one. So I wanted to talk about this because I, I now I know I'm not a gamer and I don't play video games except for on my PC. But there's a new console coming out. I don't know when it's supposed to release. It might come out in 2020. It might come out later in like the fall of 20 of this year. But there's there's been I don't want to call them rumors because Sony announced it sort of that there's going to be a new PlayStation. A console coming out or being released in the next year and a half or something like that or even this year later and maybe even in the summer right around E3 and maybe that's why they decided to go away from E3 is because Sony's been working on play, the PlayStation 5 for who knows how long but that would mean that the PlayStation 4 would go down to like well under 200 bucks like I think it would be like 125 now I'm not saying I would get the get the PlayStation 4, but maybe someday I'll get a, a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 and start playing with you guys because, you know, I'm, the PlayStation 5 is probably going to be like 400 bucks, 400, 500 bucks, and it's going to be probably one terabyte of, gig, uh, one terabyte, gig, terabyte of data, and it's probably going to be like super expensive. And now that there's, you know, the PlayStation 4 is probably going to be coming out so late, like the PlayStation 3 before that, and the PlayStation 2 before that, and the PlayStation 1 before that. Everything is going to, you know, revolve around this device and see how things work out. And, I, and if I were to get the PlayStation 4 and play with you guys, now I don't, I'm not saying it's, it's going to be, you know, all sunshine and rainbows, but the... Someday I want to get like either a PlayStation device or I mean a PlayStation console, whether it's the PlayStation Four or even the PlayStation Five when it when it is released, or even an Xbox One X or S or whatever it's called, or even the new Xbox video console. Um, I want to play with you guys more, and I want to play more games and do stuff like. That. I'm not saying this channel would be a gaming channel. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that. Don't mind that. That's the rain outside. But I'm just saying, like, this is... It would be cool to play games with you guys and maybe do, like, a Twitch stream. Twitch streams here and there via my PlayStation. If I were to get a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 or, you know, start getting more games for PlayStation 3. Or getting into PlayStation 4 in the first place. But, I would like to know in the comments, I, I'm going to try to read the comments today for this video and see which guy, if you think I should someday, I'm not saying it's going to happen today or tomorrow or even a month from now or two months from now or three months from now, but if I were to get a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox, which games should I uh, start playing and then show you which games that I'm playing via Twitch if I can figure it out. But right now, my main concern is to figure out what I'm going to do with my life after YouTube. Only, that's, that's not, we're not going to discuss that again. But I did have a, I don't know if you want to call it a realization or a dream or, you know, a vision from God or whatever you want to call it. But something amazing kind of happened to me right before I woke up at 10.30 last night. It's now like almost 2 in the morning or 1.30 in the morning. But I realize God showed me, and I know it sounds crazy and I know it sounds far-fetched because it's it's a YouTuber who has a million plus subscribers and she's amazing and she's part of the vlog squad and I'm not talking about Liza Koshi here. I'm not talking about Aaron Gilfoy or Carly Incatrano or anyone like that who is in a relationship. I'm talking... Was a single. The more person I'm talking about, her name's Karina. Karina Koff. But she's an amazing person, and everything she does has just been amazing. I've been watching her video for well over a year now, and she's just awesome. But what God showed me is that we have a family together. And I know that sounds crazy, and I know it sounds weird and creepy and stalkerish and all that stuff, but it's not. If God shows you something, no. When God shows you something, you've got to follow through. 
And I know she's, you know, she's got way, 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 way more subscribers than I do. And I know she probably won't real, probably know who I am, and she'll probably think I'm a nobody, and I can't do anything about that. But if I were to, you know, communicate, try to communicate with her via her comment section, and she may not see the comments, and she may not see uh, her direct messages that I've sent. I sent her one direct message via Twitter. And, you know, she may not see that stuff right away. It may take her a couple of days to see it, or maybe she'll never see it. But God showed me that for a reason. Or God gave me that insight, if you will, for a reason. I don't know what that reason is quite yet, but I'm going to try to figure that out. And it may you may think I'm just spitting out hot air and being ridiculous and trying to chase something that's not there, but when God shows you what your life's going to be, you got to kind of follow his, his guidelines, because those guidelines can lead to huge, huge success and huge appreciation. I'm sorry for young, but that's just, God is... God is almighty and he, he knows what I need and he knows what I want and he knows what I deserve. And maybe it is her. Maybe it is the love I have for, you know, every single person. And maybe her love is going to be the one that is going to be amazing. Now, I know I'm six years older than her in age, but it doesn't matter to me. If the only thing that matters is if she's in her 20s or in her 30s. And she wants to be with me. And now I know she probably doesn't know who I am. I'm nobody, and I'm just nothing could probably possibly happen with it. But God, God shows you things that need to happen and should happen. I'm not saying it's gonna happen like today or tomorrow or even a week from now or a month from now or you know even six months from now or a year from now. But it will happen at some point in my life. Whether she sees it or not, it's going to happen. Because God wants it to happen. And what God wants is what i got to follow. Because he, I, I feel like I need to follow His guidelines for me. Now, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. You all know the drill. Keep real. And I'll see you later today with the Brand Speaking New Bye-bye.